Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Fallout 4. Today, we're going to go visit our friends at the railroad now that we have that, uh, Corsair teleporter IFF thing. It's basically like an IFF thing. Well, I don't like how that, that no clip through my armor like that. But anyways, um, so some stuff, let's see. Let's stop for a second, let's see, um... I decided to bring around a plasma rifle just in case. Um, I upgraded the shotgun, which apparently had been waiting to be upgraded forever. Uh, I upgraded this to take 30. Uh, no, 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 not that one. Uh, this to take 308, which does a shit ton more damage. Um, what else did I do? Oh, I added a better scope on this. Uh, what else did I do? I think I added a better scope on that too, I'm not sure. Let me look at the scopes. Is that the cooler scope? No, what's... I'll try to make myself useful. <laughs> no one wants to see a grown man feeling sorry for himself. Huh. This is the... this scope is cool. Look at that. Whoa. You have a sad face, dude. That's kind of freaky. It looks kind of off uh, kilter there. Alright, so let's get this started. No more lollygagging about. Um, Railroad HQ. Oh, to be perfectly honest with you, I probably I probably would have preferred to bring a Gatling laser. Oh, Finch Farm, damn it. <sighs> Places come first before a mission. I don't want to piss them off because and also I don't want to have all my hard work destroyed. A Finch Farm, this place is pretty well off. I remember this place has a bunch of machine guns. One rocket and a laser turret near the generator and water plant. So this didn't take long at all. I'm going to show you the new Hellfire rifle in action. Up, or not. <sighs> Jesus Christ. There is nothing left of these people. Wow, dude, that was power armor. Holy shit. Where's that legendary raider? Where did his freaking body go, man? There's just body parts. Seriously though, like where where did that legend I saw there was a legendary here. We'll me. Whoa, dude, you had a rocket launcher? Who are you? Oh, settlers. I saw there's a body over here. Oh, yellow flight helmet. Uh, I'll take it. Oh, missile? Who knows? Maybe we'll need a missile. A machete. Damn. I can't make this fucking stuff like that. It's like fireworks. Joyous, joyous fireworks. So is it over now? No, it doesn't say it's over, so I gotta stay. Oh, hello. Raider scum. Raider scum. Is it over? Let's trade. Go ahead. Is it over? I 
I'm just gonna give it a sec, because I don't know. I'd rather be safe than sorry. And have another than have another frickin' beach. Cause apparently even though they have superior defenses, they're gonna get overwhelmed because I didn't go there to help them. Seriously though, where the hell did that legendary raider go? Did he just get like obliterated? There's like literally nothing. Alright, I'm just gonna say that. Everything is on the up and up here. <clears throat> Railroad HQ. That's what Ironsides looks like when he's an asshole. Quick save. The world is dangerous. Place. I have a report here. Anyone it reads more like a comic book. Apparently, one hell of a fight took place at Green Tech Genetics. Yeah, that was me. I took down a courser. That's what the report says. Hard to believe. I'm all for one less courser in the world, but the conventional wisdom is that you run from them rather than engage them. So why did you kill him? I needed a courser chip. I need the code on it. You have one of their chips intact? Yes, Follow I do. Follow me now. Decoding <laughs> a courser chip is a very delicate operation. A million things can go wrong. The least of which is losing the data. Fortunately, we have the right man for the job. Captain Crazy Pants. You need something? Tom, we got a courser chip. Oh, for real? Oh, man, it's been ages. You've hit the jackpot with this. Hand over the chip. Let's see what's on it. Alright. Here you go. Alright. Tom, make it happen. Alright, little corset chip. Let's have the circuit analyzer take a crack at you. Don't break it, man. We're in. Deacon's record chip is access. the best. Just you can learn more from connectors him. a little. What? Oh man, don't, don't don't crash. Hold it together. Memory hiccup. Here it comes. Encryption algorithms. All right, all right, we're still running. Oh man, they've added more decimals to the last cipher. This is gonna be. Come on, baby, show me that pattern. Where is it? Wait, they're using the same logarithmic function as the key generator. Oh man, we got lucky. I got you, you institute bastard. I got you. Right, software in. Come on, show me that sweet face number. Come on, baby. Yeah, we got it. We got the code. <laughs> Let me load that onto the hollow tape for ya. Good work, Tom. Hey, yeah, but I'm not sure our luck will hold up next time, Des. And agent, I hope that helps you as much as you've helped us. Good work. Okay. You gotta be careful, man. The institute is everywhere. Hey, I got everything you field agent types. Yeah, I'm gonna really a few Tinker Tom specialities. Let's see what he's got. <laughs> Let's take a look. Made a new batch of whatnots for it. Okay. Uh, let's see. What can use all that? What else? Can I have? Armored bathrobe. What the shit? <laughs> Armored ready skirt. Um, let's see. How are we doing on grenades? Because we might need to be packing a ton. Um, formula. Jeez, dude. Making those. Um, all times. Let's buy some more plasma cartridges. Sure. Shotgun shells. Anything to sell? No, we don't. It's fine. Alright, guys, I guess we're, uh. So, where to now? Turn to Virgil. Okay. Um, 
prove disastrous. They can move oh, into no. base I made. The body can repair tissue damage, but still, too much radiation too quickly can prove. Yeah, let me just take a uh, <coughs> red X, take two, and a red X. Caution is. Yes, I know. Radiation is bad. I don't mind her repeating as much because I know she was a lesser thing before and now she's a more advanced thing. It, 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 she'll grow into her shell. It's like a it's like a hermit crab. They they grow in, as they get a bigger shell, I think. Is that right? Wasn't sure I'd see you again. You managed to get what you need. I have the code. Suppose I shouldn't be surprised. You did get rid of Kellogg after all. Not too much of a leap to take down a courser. How'd you manage to get it decoded? The railroad helped me. Oh god, those kooks. I would have expected they'd be too busy trying to liberate vending machines, or setting computer terminals free, or... Sorry. They just have something of a reputation. You're not the only one who's been busy. I did the best I could. From memory and things I've overheard through the years. Came up with some schematics for you. Wasn't easy. These hands are ridiculous. Fine motor skills have gone to shit. Here's the symbol explanation. You need to build a device that will hijack the signal the Institute uses to teleport coursers. And send you instead. You know the craziest part of the design? That classical music station, that's the carrier signal for what? the relay. All the data's on harmonic frequencies. You've been hearing it all along. I want to be clear that this isn't my area of expertise. I was bioscience, not engineering or advanced systems or anything. Bioscience? Bioscience? Advanced systems? Divisions within the Institute. Specialized groups working on various projects. Mm. It'll make sense later. But if you can build this device and make use of that code, you should be able to override the signal from the Institute's relay. Can you? I mean, can you build it? You have people that can help. This is a lot for one person, even you. <sighs> I got it covered. I've got it covered. Good. Good. Because you've got to make it in there. For both our sakes. And don't you forget our agreement. I've helped you as best I can. If you make it in there, you find that serum. It's my only hope for ever being... normal. So you find it. Now go on. Take these and get to work. You do whatever it takes. Call on whoever Ooh. you know to help you. A minute, minute railroad. Oh, hello, Tesla's no? Excellent. Nice. Hmm. Protect. I might have to take serve. a few minutes to figure that out. Shoot. Who do I want in? I think I'm more in with the railroad and Minutemen than the Brotherhood. The Brotherhood has just been. The Brotherhood is weird. I don't know. Like, they don't feel as friendly as they were. I mean, <laughs> they weren't that friendly in New Vegas, but... These these people, this, these, they seem weird in this one. Like, they're up to no good. Like, they would probably nuke Boston or something to get rid of the Institute for good. I don't know. I just don't trust them. I'm just gonna, uh... I don't know. I'm gonna do some stuff off camera while I think about it. I, didn't, I thought it would just be straightforward, to be honest with you guys. Um, I'll see you in just a sec. So guys, I'm here at the uh, Red Rocket. I've decided I think I'm going to ask the Railroad. Because I don't know what the... Uh, the Minute Mode probably like, what? <laughs> I don't even think they're that technically inclined. Except maybe... Uh, would that... Would, would the guy back at base know about this kind of stuff? I don't know. I don't know. He'd probably do it, but I'd rather ask the railroad since I'm pretty tight with them right now. And I pretty much... I know I'm, I have... Uh, wait, this is optional. 
can't help to build signal. This is optional. Well, what is the non-optional? Can I build it myself? I guess not. Let's go to Railroad H. Oh no, go to Railroad HQ. I just like the Railroad HQ because. <laughs> I don't know, I just like the idea. Like I've always loved the, like the cyber I've always loved like cyberpunk stuff. And they seem like the most cyberpunk inclined. Like power you armor. Take that arm at Behemoth off on covert missions. No, I do not. Another ghost. Reference save. Do you need something? I have plans here to build a signal interceptor that can get me into the Institute. So that's what the Corsair chip was all about. You needed that frequency, I take it. Why? What does this machine do? The Institute uses teleportation to get in and out. The Interceptor can hijack their signal and send me instead. We've spent dozens of years and too many good agents' lives only to discover not a goddamn thing. <laughs> and now we have the answer, thanks to you. Teleportation? That the Institute could build something so. But we've got work to do. this is our top priority now. I want Tinker Tom to help you in any way possible to get this device built. I trust Tinker Tom to help me. Oh, Tinker, where? Tinker Thomas, get your ass up. We have work to do. I love, I love that thing on his head. It's like the million. Yeah, dude, they're, uh... Oh, okay, that's like the... Ready to hand over the plans? This is the big one. Okay, just... Do you think you can decipher them? I won't know until I get a look-see. Alright, here you go. Here you go. Uh, let's see what we need. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Who wrote this? Some kid with a crayon? She Must have been a real big kid. Oh man! Molecular transmission via encrypted RF waves? Those Institute eggheads are crazy. And you can divert the signal using a heavily modified relay interception. L like a pirate broadcast, you know? That's intense. Okay. I knew you could figure it out, Tom. The plans cover all the high-end egghead shit. But they're missing a ton of engineering details. Filling in the gaps will take time. This bit here, the stabilized reflector platform, just needs some high-grade metal. Easy. By the time you finish that, I'll have the rest done. Okay, what part? What's it gonna take to build it? We can scrounge up the platform components you need. No problem. But where to build it? It's gonna need some serious space. This baby's big. Uh, it should fit over at Mercer's safe house. Pam's oh. in that place her full blessing. I'll flag some runners to deliver the components there. Oh, 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 oh. oh yes. Oh yes. Wait, where do we have to go now? Back to Mercer safe house? Build the reflective platform. Well, I know perfectly where to build it, I think. So do I get the place where it is? Because I know a perfect place for a teleportation room. Probably. I don't think they probably intended for me to make it such a big hub. This is my main economy hub. I think it's in special, right? How big is this thing? Oh! Well, I know the perfect place to put it, I think. Maybe. Can it fit in? Wait, is there like fire this in the same green as the beam emitter? What? Oh, damn. Here we go! Whoa! How was that? What the? What just happened? I want to know. Raiders. Goddamn raiders. 
Now let's build this shit on the roof, maybe. But there is that one little extra room in yes. the back. Mm. Give me a minute to figure out what would be a, the best place to build this. This is beam emitter. Why are this the same power grid as the beam emitter? Right here, maybe? Maybe not. Uh, let's put it on the roof. Put it in a special place, but it, I'm already at my limit when it comes to uh, how much stuff I can put down. Mm -hmm. Put it in front of good old uh, Minute Man right here, or whoever that is. No? Well, let me put it right here, really? I can put it right there. Uh, What about on top of this? Can't fit it in there, but I could fit it right here. Tease it. There. Take it, this is like a teleporter pad. I wish I had like I wish I had more room here. I definitely build it. Like a special room where like like I put like no one no one allowed in here. Alright, let me just see the game. I take it I need to build something else here. I didn't actually see how much power it took up either. Alright, what do you got for me? Uh, you got the platform built yet? Tick tock, tick tock. You smoke too, I'm for the good news. Easy. I did it. The platform's constructed. And I filled in the blanks on the blueprints. We can actually build this crazy thing. The science of this monstrosity is wow. But fortunate for us, the ingredients pretty common. But there's three specialty items that I just can't grab from our safe houses. You find those, and we'll knock down the gates of hell. Ooh, okay. Search telecom sites for a sensor module, okay. Thanks, Tom. I'll find them. I don't doubt it for one minute. After you get the gettables, meet me at the bill site. You really walk the freedom trail. By yourself. Okay, so back. What's that? Search the telecom sites for a sensor module. Um, if I need a sensor module, I'm pretty sure I have a, at least some kind of sensor module. Okay, so I might have to rethink my location for this. Let's scrap one of these tables. I'm not gonna put it in here, I just need space. Oh, they're up there already. Control console, okay. Hmm. Don't worry, my defense has got it. it be better. Snap this in place over. Oh, okay, this we is... Make it, right? mm. Let's 
put this like right over here maybe. Holy shit, it needs 20 power? Relay dish. I don't know if I'll be able to build all this. This is not good. And a relay dish. Shit. Uh. Hmm. Doghouse. The other way he's oh, stupid Brahmin. All the power we can spare. No, not the statue. We can spare. Seriously, fuck you, Brown. <sighs> I would have built the secret lab if I knew I, was, I had to build this thing. Okay, what else do we need? A relay dish. So I have to go on top of this thing, or? So that's it. So we have one, two, three, four, K. Okay. Oh, we need power generators now. Can we do it? Don't know. Uh lights and need a connector. Power pile at large. Okay, maybe a little bit more power. Seriously, not enough? I just built two generators aren't enough? Let me make a separate save. Get to work. You guys ready for this? Status report. The Institute is a huge unknown. Before we can make any plans, you need to do something. What I'm about to tell you is the most closely guarded secret the railroad has. It's time you learn about Patriot. Patriot? Patriot? There's a man, or woman, we're not sure, inside the Institute who helps since escape to freedom. Dozens of since owe him their lives. We don't know his name. We've never had a way to contact him. So we gave him the code name, Patriot. If your plan works, and you're able to get inside the Institute, we need you to make contact. How to contact? How can I contact him if you know nothing about him? Patriot devised a method to communicate with us one way. The plan hinges on us using this method to close the loop and contact him back. <sighs> do my best. Okay. I'll do my best. Tom's encrypted a message for Patriot's eyes only. Once he sees it, he'll contact you. Until you make contact, and probably after, you need to stay in their good graces. You need to infiltrate them. Oh. Can you do that? Can you be our agent on the inside? Bring it on. You can do this. I believe in I you. I should probably build a switch Stand on gate. the platform and I'll give you the holotape. Just plug it into any institute terminal and wait for the reply. Tom, talk to me. Booting up the scheme. This frequency is only going to work once. You know who doesn't make the same mistake twice. Come back when you can. 
Oh, so this is a one way ride. <sighs> Maybe. Hey. We are in business. Stand in the platform, huh? Hope Carrie can come with me. Alright, guys, you ready? Coming or what? I can see her. <clears throat> this thing's a monster of energy. Let me just read, read, let me just read what this thing takes up. So I had to build these. These produce ten. How much did this thing actually take up? Has it gone? Two. Takes 25. I don't know how much spare power I have in the first place, but I'm really nervous, guys. Ian's been building up to this for quite some time. I'm right here. I'm ready to go. Oh, you're gonna approach me from this side. Desdemona. Status report. We got activity, Des. Not sure how long before it peaks. The Institute is a huge unknown. Before we can make any plans, we need to do something. What I'm about to tell uh, you is the most... Uh -huh. I like the name. There's a man. Uh -huh. Dozens. If your plan... Okay. I'll do... Tom's encrypted. Until you make contact. Okay. Can you do that? Bring, Bring it on. You can do this. Stand on the plan. Tom, talk to me. We're gonna have to cut a few corners with the scan. And that we should save. Okay, I can't move now. So stand still. You gotta lock in all those molecules of yours. Hopefully we won't miss any. There's only, you know, 60 trillion of them. All right, feeding our baby some juice. Let's see what she's got. Take this hollow tape. You need it to contact a Patriot. Oh man, uh, don't worry. That's that's all part of the plan. Tom, do whatever you can to gain their trust. Lie. Tell them what they want to hear. Make up a cover story and sell it. Come on, I think I got it. Establishing lock on the Institute signal. Just get all the information you can about Synth, about the Institute's plans. Find their weaknesses. If we can disable or destroy the Institute, we may have to do it. You jack that holotape into any terminal, and Patriot will make contact. He has to. Got the R up! We got it! Find a way to save them. Nobody else can. Now! Oh. Okay. Uh, please tell me Curie's with me. Okay, she's not with me. Wow. Fancy. Already looking for loot. Yeah. Only valuable loot. No freaking bullshit stuff. father. The Institute is under my guidance. I know why you're here. I'd like to discuss things with you face to face. Please, step into the elevator. Okay. Seems like another good place to save, just because that was a bit long. Oh, we're going down. I can only imagine what you've heard, what you think of us. I'd like to show you that you may have the wrong impression. Okay, this Welcome is going to, to the Institute. Wow. 
This is the reality of the Institute. This place, these people, the work we do. For over a hundred years, we've dedicated ourselves to humanity's survival. Decades of research, countless experiments and trials, a shared vision of how science can help shape the future. Listen to the kids it is never been easy. Something. And our actions are often That's misinterpreted cool. by those above ground. <clears throat> Someday, perhaps, we can show them what we've accomplished. But for now, we must remain underground. That's There's cool. too much at stake here to risk it all. As you've seen, things above are... unstable. I'd like to talk to you about what we can do for everyone. But that can wait. You are here for a specific, very personal reason. You are here for your son. Oh shit. Let's get this one then. Is this the right way? I don't. to do um hello Sean hmm yes I'm Sean Sean oh my god S923, recall code Cirrus. Fascinating, but disappointing. The child's responses were not at all what I anticipated. He's a prototype, you understand. Wait, what? We're only just now beginning to explore the effects of extreme emotional stimuli. Please try and keep an open mind. Wait, what? That was a sin? I recognize that you are emotional. And that your journey here has been fraught with challenges. Let's start anew. I am Father. Welcome to the Institute. Father. <laughs> That's your name? Your title? Father is my unofficial title. It's what I've come to mean to the people of the Institute. Just as... As you are a parent to your son. Sean. Just help me understand what's going on here. I promised answers, and answers you shall have. But I need you to realize that this situation is far more complicated than you could have imagined. You have traveled very far and suffered a great deal oh, to shit. find your son. Well, <laughs> Your tenacity and dedication have been... Re it's good to finally meet you. After all this time. Wait, what? It's me. Wait, what? 
I am Sean. I am your son. What? It's really you. Um, After all this time. Yes. It's true. Wait, how old was in the vault? You had no concept of the passage. Oh, of they freeze the other guy. You Shit. were released from your past. I just remember that. You went searching for the son. You'd lost. But then you learned that your son was no longer an infant, but a ten year old boy. You believed that ten years had passed. Is it really so hard to accept that it was not ten, but sixty years? That is the reality. And here I am. Raised by the Institute, and now its leader. But why? But why? Why take a child? Why take you? Ah, now that's the question, isn't it? Why me? At that time, the year 2227, the Institute had made great strides in synth production. But it was never enough. Scientific curiosity and the goal of perfection drove them ever onward. What they wanted was the perfect machine. So they followed the best example thus far. The human being. Walking, talking, fully articulate, capable of anything. The... Human sense? Really? Human-like synths. A great distinction. The Institute endeavored to create synthetic organics. The most logical starting point, of course, was human DNA. Plenty of that was available, of course. But it had all become corrupted. Ah. In this wasteland, radiation affected everyone. Even in their attempts to shield themselves from the world above, members of the Institute had been exposed Another source was necessary, but then the Institute found me after discovering records from Vault 111. An infant, frozen in time, protected from the radiation-induced mutations that had crept into every other human cell in the Commonwealth. I was exactly what they needed. And so it was my DNA that became the basis of the synthetic wow. organics used to create every human-like synth you see today. I am their father. Through science, we are family. The synths, me, and you. Sixty years. So much time. Wasted. I know. I know you must have questions. Please. Anything I can do to help you understand. Dear father, he never got to see you grow up. Yes. What happened to him was... I've gone over the records of the incident, of course. It seems what happened to him was an unfortunate bit of collateral damage. For many years, I never questioned who my parents were. I accepted my situation... And that was that. With old age comes regret. And asking what if more often. But what matters now is that you and I have a chance to begin again. What else can I say to ease your mind? What the hell is that deal with Kellogg? Kellogg? He worked for you? Kellogg. He was an institute asset long before I arrived here. It wasn't until I became director that I learned of all the things he'd done. What kind of man he was. You used him? You knew the man was a psychopath, but you used him anyway? Would you have preferred that I turned him loose on the Commonwealth? At least keeping him on a short leash kept the collateral damage to a minimum. The Institute took advantage of Kellogg's vicious nature. I will freely admit that. Institute technology prolonged his life wow. and his usefulness far beyond any normal human lifespan. 
He never failed the Institute, but his cruelty became more apparent with every completed objective. I won't lie. It's no coincidence your path crossed his. It seemed a fitting way to allow you, us, to have some amount of revenge. What else can I say to ease your mind? All right, the Institute. So, you're in charge of the Institute? I am the acting director, yes. I spent decades working to reach this point. It's a responsibility I take very seriously. The Institute. It's important. It really is humanity's best hope for the future, no matter what those above ground might think of us. They need your help, Sean. It's rough up there, to say the least. Oh, we've tried that. Surprised? The Institute once tried to help create a stabilized Commonwealth government. It ended in bickering, infighting. It was a disaster. No. We look after our own now. Ultimately, the Commonwealth has nothing to fear from us. Whatever you've seen or heard, I know I can convince you of that. Just give me time. I know there's more for us to discuss. But the Institute is on the verge of some important breakthroughs. Your presence would be appreciated as we approach them. I've been a part of something amazing here. I've helped to build a life for myself and the people of the Institute. And now, after all these years, you have an opportunity to help with that. Doesn't that intrigue you? Isn't that what you want? Maybe. I don't know. This is so much to take in. I know. And I am sorry. You have been through so much in such a short time. The Institute can provide a better life than anything above ground. You've been in the Commonwealth. You've seen what it's like. I assure you that you are better off with us. Things are pretty terrible up there. I've seen it myself. I know. That is why we are so committed to creating a better life for ourselves here. And it's a life that you can now be part of. I simply ask that you give the Institute, me, a chance. A chance to show you what I've been telling you. We really do have humanity's best interest at heart. Will you take that chance? All right. All right. Thank you. The Institute is now your home as much as it is mine. Please take some time, get to know it. Meet the people you'll be working with. You'll want to introduce yourself to the division heads. Dr. Fillmore in facilities. Dr. Ao in SRB. Dr. Holdren in bioscience. And finally, Dr. Lee in advanced systems. They've all been notified of your arrival, of course. Meet them. And then we'll discuss what comes next. Okay. Ooh. What is that? Fancy computer. Hello. It's an honor to have you here, ma'am. Hey there. Just as you gave life to Father, he gave life to many of us. Let's save. I don't want to have to go through all that again. Whew. A lot of information I freaking drop. I love that they're not batting an eye that I'm walking around in this freaking janky power armor. <laughs> this place is a very uh, 50s sort of. Good evening. Yeah, not run into every storage room you find. Jeez, is this also a storage room? No, that's not. Jeez, can I not? I guess this is the way out. Open damage camera. I'll take that. 
Um, uh, how far down? Uh, let's start down. Director's quarters? Oh. Okay. Almost done. Just need to tighten up this primary drive servo. That's the third primary drive breakdown this month. As far as I'm concerned, the phase out on these older models can't come soon enough. Oh, I don't know. Most of them have lasted long past their projected lifespans. If you ask me, they were built pretty well. <laughs> I can't argue with that. Even so, I'm ready to see the full Gen 3 roll out. There we go. All set. Unit, you can return to duty. Thank you, ma'am. Thanks again. Of course. We're all looking forward to working with you. Doc? They weren't kidding. You really are here. Well, all right. I'm Allie. Allie Fillmore. You can think of me as the Institute's chief engineer. When Father told us about you, I could hardly believe it. You've been through so much, I think most people would have just given up. If you don't mind my asking, what was it that kept you going all that time? I just wanted to find my son. Keep him safe. Now that you've found him, I hope you're proud of the great man he grew up to be. Now, I'll give you <laughs> he a took over the freaking of the this division, and then I'll answer any questions you might have afterward. Okay. As you might guess, we keep the Institute's mechanical and electrical systems running smoothly. We maintain and upgrade all of the systems that make it possible to live and work in a place like this. There's a lot of machinery behind these walls that recycles the air and water and provides power to the laboratories and quarters. The work we do might not be as exciting as some of the other departments, but it's at least as important. So, now that you're here and you've spoken to Father, does that mean you're on board? I'm just looking around. I see. Well, please do mind what you touch. Sensitive equipment here, not like topside. If there's anything else you'd like to know about the facilities division, I'm happy to discuss it. Who built all this? Who built this place, originally? Has it been here long? The construction of the Institute is the work of generations of scientists. The original survivors of the war, our progenitors, took refuge in the basement of the old Commonwealth Institute of Technology. Over time, their sons and daughters dug deeper into the Earth and built increasingly sophisticated habitats and laboratories. It's a process that's still going on today. Even now, we're digging out tunnels for new facilities and infrastructure. Just think what this place will look like a hundred years from now. I hope I'm there to see it. Interesting. Okay. You... Greetings. As the Institute's requisition vendor, I can provide supplies for your missions on the surface. How may I assist you today? Sure. Sure. Let's take a look. Whoa. It's two jumper code. Mark two. Ooh. Hmm, interesting. Remember to keep unnecessary power consumption to a minimum. Don't recharge unless your primary levels are below 2%. Also, if you haven't patched your navigation software, do so after this meeting. The last thing we need is more synths bumping into walls. All right, that's all for now. You can resume your duties. Remember to conserve power at every opportunity. All maintenance requests should be directed to the facilities job. division. I'm trying to keep all the systems down here operating in the green. This place might look shiny and new, but there's a lot of old technology in these walls. Hmm. I lose sleep worrying about when the next blackout's gonna hit. How old are we talking about? Well, the reactor and a lot of the related systems. You know, cooling, monitoring, power distribution. That's all pre-war tech. Most of the superstructure down here was built later, by the people who survived the war. Hmm. And I guess each generation's been tinkering with the place, adding labs, making upgrades, and so on. 
Now that there's some stuff I need to check on. See you around, yeah? Oh, we're going to a totally different section. It was probably just a glitch in the nervous system. Pardon me. If it were just a limb twitching, but her eyes were moving as well. Involuntary twitching and rapid eye movements while sleeping can only mean one thing, Max. You just don't want to admit to yourself what wow, it yeah. is. If you're about to launch into one of your impassioned speeches about artificial sentience and machines with souls, oh. don't bother. I've heard enough of them by now. Hell, I can write them down from memory. But we can't just ignore the question. If a synth can dream, why can't it have a soul? And if a synth has a soul, Excuse then it me, is Doctor. a living person who by every a momentous time. Our third generation synths are a true break. So we can do what we want. Ah, still so talking over each other. It's no exaggeration to say that they're superior in almost every way to human beings. Superior. What makes them superior? The list of improvements is exhaustive. I can talk for an hour and still not cover all of it. Imagine what you could accomplish if you could live without fear of hunger or disease. Imagine what you could create if you could spend every waking moment of your life as you saw fit, with no need of sleep, like I said, a momentous time. You're here. Glad you made it. Oh, I'm seriously sick of Jack. Think about it, Doctor. You and everyone else oh, firmly hold on shit. to the archaic opinion that the synths are inferior. By limiting them, we limit our work. If you ask I am me, well aware of your the ideas. The software. So what is this stuff actually made of? I'm just curious. Ooh. There's a reason they the are not the popular ones. So There's no one like being above ground. Between us Hi. And them. Child oh. synth. They are just remarkable. The synths possess vast untapped potential if we only let them know. I am pleased to assist with the processing of new synths. Otherwise, I wonder if I could use this terminal. As you might find yourself in this Department notices. Synth versus Android. in here. Uh, let's see, where is it? Uh, shoot, I don't actually know what it's called. Uh, what is it actually called? Cryptic message. Let me look at my inventory really quick. What is in here that's... specific place it wants me to put it. I don't know. Let's just meet the rest of the division leaders. At least I don't have to worry about my power. I'm running out of uh, juice. Okay, so that was robotics. Looks like another one is this way. Synth retention. You know the protocol, sir. Authorized personnel only. So Dr. Ayo thinks he can hide in his office, does he? 
Well, you can tell him that I intend to speak to Father about these unannounced security sweeps of yours. Ransacking my quarters in the middle of the night is totally unacceptable. I'll pass along your message, Doctor. See that you do. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I hope all your needs are being seen, too. You just let me know if they're not. Reporting Welcome to status. the Institute, ma'am. All functions normal. Excuse me. Pardon me, ma'am. Be careful wearing that. You might be mistaken for a Brotherhood of Steel soldier. <laughs> this is an X-01. I think you mean Enclave, buddy. Always be vigilant. We have many enemies. What now? They're dragging their feet on the targeting package upgrades I asked for. Maybe I should take some courses with Did I turn off the interferometer? Mm, please don't. There's enough friction as it is Three levels us. of approval. Pretty much Do you believe that? Three! Going soft on me, Alana? My methods get results. No, and will this Jesus. time as well. You'll see. Sent relay grenade. Oh, hello. If I see a fusion cell, I'm taking it. <laughs> Uh that armor should serve you well in a firefight. Oh, it does, trust me. I want an explanation why there are scents on the surface though. Hey, egghead. What's that? Hello. Excuse Doctor. me. Doctor. So here you are. Justin Ao, acting director of the Synth Retention Bureau. I'll be up front with you. We're going to be keeping a close eye on you for the near future. Despite your relation to father, you're a bit of an unknown quantity. I'm sure you understand. There won't be any issues, will there? Why? Don't you trust me? I'll be honest. You're an outsider. The first outsider to be allowed access to the Institute in quite a long time, in fact. There's little precedent for this situation, so... It's only natural to take extra precautions, hmm? It's nothing personal, I assure you. Now, Father has asked that I provide you with a brief overview of the Synth Retention Bureau. Our primary responsibility is the recovery of escaped Synths that are hiding among the human population on the surface. Uh... If the Synths want to be free, you should let them. Synths do not want. They might look like human beings, but they're machines. As to why they're escaping? That matter is currently under investigation. Our main instrument is the Courser, a third generation synth assigned to operate on the surface. Coursers hunt down and reclaim synths that have escaped the Institute. They are highly self sufficient, trained in combat, infiltration, and tracking. In a word, our Coursers are relentless. But I gather you know all this, since you've encountered one already. In fact, I'd very much like to know how you defeated it. I'm no stranger to combat. Even so, a courser should be more than a match for any single combatant. I suppose I'll have to ask robotics to perform detailed diagnostics on the entire production run. <laughs> oh. Now, in Crazy Gypsy Woman else, told me a code. Yeah. That's what happened. Uh, reclamation process. I'd like to know more about the synth reclamation process. Fine. Once a courser has located a rogue synth, it uses that synth's recall code to wipe its memories and render it inert. We then begin the delicate process of restoring the neural pathways to their original configuration. In those cases where the procedure is successful, the synth returns to duty with no memory of its time on the surface. All too often, we're unable to repair the damage and are forced to dispose of the unit entirely. Okay. Feels like this project has been going on for months. Report anything suspicious to the SRB. Sure. No. The Directorate should take the synth escapes more seriously. <clears throat> I swear I spend half my time smoothing the feathers that Justin ruffles. Give me all of your fancy stuff. Oh my god. So much fancy stuff. Nominal. Okay. 
where to next? Let's just keep going through these. This seems like the best way to go around. No visible reaction to the K-14 compound. We'll start the next trial. The dosage will be much larger this time. And the side effects will When are you going to tell me about this mysterious phase? You know I can't talk about that. It's too advanced systems. Hmm. Huh. Airlock. She's been at it for over two hours. What is she even testing? Nothing. At this point, she's just doing it for fun. <clears throat> huh? Huh? Hey. Not everything you've heard about Safety the Institute first. is true. Remember Give us a that. chance. Doc? Since you're new here, you should take well, time to learn our safety procedures. And the sooner the better. Rules create order, and order promotes efficiency. Okay. Words any former soldier can appreciate. A woman who understands the need for discipline will be a valuable addition here. I had some handbooks made up, but that was years ago. I'll see about getting one to you. Sounds good. Take care, then. All right, um, I'm going to end the episode here. Uh, next episode, we'll continue uh, on in the Institute. I'll see you guys next time.